Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. I've got a box to open today, so we're going to open a new toy. And But before I do that, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell, that way you get notifications. And stick around. Let's find out what we got today. Hey folks, we got a new, a new toy from Recording King. I'll open this up here in just a little bit. We're going to check it out. See how they package this. Oh, it's pretty simple packaging. Got rid of those. Don't need those. And as soon as, as soon as this comes out of the box, there's probably be a cat in the box. Anyway, put that off to the side. There's an amp power cord. And just some just some basic information there. Let's see if there's maybe no glare. All right, well, give me a second and we'll, uh, I'll get the plastic off of it and we'll try it out. Hey y'all, I'm back. Uh, I've got it out of the box and show you a little about it. Give you a little, little idea of what we've got. It's the uh, Recording King. Let's see, there we go. Maybe y'all can see that. But anyway, it's the Songwriter 60 and it's acoustic. It's an, it's an amp for an acoustic instrument, acoustic guitar, what you know, for acoustic instruments, acoustic, you know, a banjo, a mandolin. Uh, little technical specs on this thing. Uh, let's see, maximum, out, maximum output power is 60 watts. It's got two six and a half inch woofers and one soft dome, uh, uh, one inch soft dome tweeter. Uh, it's two channel, high fidelity acoustic instrument amp. And channel one controls has got a gain, a bass, mid, treble, reverb with high and low input level switch and a contour switch. And on channel two, it's got gain, bass, treble, reverb uh, with a line mic input level switch and a 48 volt phantom power switch, which is pretty, pretty nice. It's got a uh, global control. It's got a master volume. It's got quarter inch instrument jacks. Uh, it's got, let's see, XLR combo jack on channel two. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, quarter inch tuner output and reverb foot switch, effects loop, send and return, line out, headphones, uh, XLR DI out which is super handy if, if you carry this on stage. It works as your DI. And let's see what else we got there. And it's got an eighth inch, uh, a one eight inch uh, aux input. It's a uh, nice looking cabinet, persimmon color, faux leather cover. It weighs 24 pounds. So it, it's, not, it's not bad, but here you can see some of the, see some of the controls here. Uh, Pretty, pretty, pretty basic kind of amp. And then on the back, I'll show you a little, like what you can see on the back there. So it's got, it's got line out and send tuner, another DI out. It just uses standard power cord. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook it up. Uh, I'll play my banjo through it. And I'll play, uh, play a guitar through it. Let you hear what it sounds like. All right, we'll see you in a minute. Got my Recording King, it's RK35. I've got an LR bags system in it. And right now the volume's off. Bring the volume up just a little bit. Everything is set at 12 o'clock and except for the volume, uh, I've got the, the master volume is about 10 o'clock and the uh, the channel one volume I've got about nine o'clock. It's, I mean, it, it'll literally blow you out of the living room here. And so, here you go. And then it's got a contour switch. Reverb, 
I'm just gonna crank it up just a little bit. You, you can go crazy with the reverb. But we're gonna run it down, just turn off the contour switch. Now we got kind of that Foggy Mountain banjo reverb sound. So it's got that sound. So there it is with the banjo. Sounds great. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a guitar, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with a guitar. Uh, this is a Recording King RD310. I've got the LR bags in it. Just And I'm just plugged straight in, uh, just like with the banjo. Uh, right now. And then we'll bring the volume up just at about nine o'clock or so. contour button and then we can add some reverb put her about 10 o'clock Recording King Songwriter 60. Uh, be sure to, yeah, so Recording King Songwriter 60. And that saves me putting it on the screen. I can just do it that way. Uh, if you're needing an acoustic amp, this is certainly the way to go. And uh, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll, I'll be posting more stuff like this. Uh, I know y'all was probably expecting a lesson, but every now and then I get get a new toy I need to show y'all. And so big thanks to Recording King for supporting me and supporting my channel and let me be able to show y'all some of this stuff and be sure to check them out. You can go to recordingking.com. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye y'all.